What's up everybody, it's Hennis here and welcome to sunny Miami, Florida. On this week's episode, we're touring Picasso's newest listing that is located on the canal and has an amazing backyard. Here are the specs on this property and you can acquire one eighth ownership of this home for $1,017,000. And without further ado, let's begin our tour. The house is located in the Coconut Grove neighborhood here in Miami and from the street level we have the gates opening up to this driveway that leads you to your two car garage. As we come this way we have this wide walkway that takes you to the front entry. If you look at the exterior facade of this home it's a beautiful modern design with a tropical twist. I love the landscaping around here and this live wall underneath the covered entry it's just super cool, the textures, everything. And if you look at the floors, you have this concrete walkway pattern with the gravel stone in between. It just gives it a nice contrast. And we're now underneath the covered entry. I mean, look at this, Mikey. It feels like we are walking into a tropical forest. Yeah, you're looking super Miami today, I must say. I also. am, I changed myself a little bit. You know what, Mikey, ever since we came out here, it just feels so relaxing. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna dress a little bit more casual. And uh, yeah. this is how I look today. Yeah. So, one more thing, Mikey. This exterior clad is called Olight Stone. This is actually a natural stone, and the masons who installs the stone, they use a chisel to break the backside of it, they get it relatively flat, and then they use a mud to stick it to the wall, then they use a grinder to shave it off, get this flat look, but yet, you can see all the crevices, textures, and details. Super cool. It has a very Caribbean and kind of tropical vibe to it. Yeah, it has a really interesting texture. Absolutely. Now, Mikey, pivot door. Let's go inside. Now, as soon as you walk into this property, you have this nice spacious entry. On the right-hand side, we have walls of glass facing your first lap pool on this side. Again, spacious entry. We have the two-car garage around the corner, laundry room here and this door opens up to your small gym on the first floor. Now, the rest of the floor here leads us to the backyard, which is super cool, but first I wanna take everybody upstairs to check out the second floor. Now we are on the second level of this property, and as soon as you come up to this floor, everything is all open, space gets a ton of natural light. Off of the staircase, we have the formal dining room area, but first I wanna take everybody this direction and briefly cover the staircase design of this property. Beautiful modern design, open riser. I love these wood threads. And since the staircase is located right in the center of the second floor, it has glass railing throughout, which allows natural light to travel and make this floor a little bit more spacious. Now, Mikey, let's come this way. On this side, we have a wet bar located around the corner, dual elevation, light tones with the wood cabinetry. We have the sink here ice maker, everything you need to entertain. And around the corner, we have two seating areas. First one, right next to the staircase. And the room opens up a little bit more to the second seating area. Super cozy, gets ton of natural light. And I have to point this out, Mikey. Look at this glass wall right here. Keep in mind, we're here in Florida, which means they do have some hurricanes here and there. So all these glass panels are impact rated. It's nice to get this much glass in Florida. And that's why the frames of these window assemblies are so beefy. Yeah, they're also really well insulated. We walked in here and the sun was shining directly in the house and it was like 69 degrees, it was perfect. Easy, yeah. I know. We have the built-ins on this side, nice contrast between the white cabinetry and the wood tones right in the center. Massive TV. And this is also really cool, Mikey. Front facing balcony where you can look to see who's coming to your property. Very nice. All right, let's continue our tour. Overall, this floor, again, it's all open. Love the staircase design. And going back to the landing, I wanna talk about the formal dining room area and a couple of details about it. Number one, the chandelier looks stunning. Number two, this table setup. I wanna buy this table. Mikey, can we get a close up? 
I forget what they call this detail, like where they, it's like some sort of a joinery. So this was probably a live edge wood slat and it probably had this crack. So they've jointed through these wood dowels and it just makes it so contemporary yet kind of organic. I don't know, I love this table design. Yeah, and it kind of matches like the, the wood theme we see throughout the whole house. That's right. And again, massive glass panes, ton of natural light coming in. Now, next door, we have an additional seating area. I wanna call this section the family room. Again, comfortable couch setup. We have two chairs on the right, but a really unique color and kind of a cloth pattern. TV on this side, again, nice built-in wall with textures, cove ceiling light detail above us, and all these sliding glass doors open up to a balcony that faces the backside of this home. Mikey, we forgot a detail as I was talking to you. Come this way. Right around the corner, we have a powder room with a water closet. We had to point this out for the common areas on the second floor. And between the family room and the kitchen, we have a small dining table that sits, let's see, eight people, nice and cozy. Again, all flowing to our uh, backyard balcony. And let's cover the kitchen. Since this home has modern and kind of unique angles, this kitchen layout is kind of, I guess, angular. And that's why we have the island situated right in the center with a cut on the other side. They went with the wood tones on the island and white cabinetry on the base to create a nice contrast. I love this stainless steel reveal detail. And although cabinets are flat, we have the handles built in on top. So I have to point that out. I was wondering how long it'd take you to bring up that stainless steel reveal detail. This is what I like, that's right. you know? So, all right, let's continue here. We have a tall backsplash detail, massive picture window facing the canal so that way even when you're doing your dishes you have a pleasant view to look at now let's see my key dishwasher melee and your countertops continue cooktop vent above and we have one of these sub-zero commercial fridges with a glass front that way you can actually see what's inside of your fridge i've always wanted one of these they have these in like high-end kitchens you see them in like restaurant kitchens, that kind of thing. That's right. Um, but yeah, they're really nice. They do look cool. We have the built-ins here, full-size wine fridge, cabinetry continues, espresso maker, beautiful kitchen. And again, it goes with the light colored theme that we're seeing throughout the property. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody outside. We have two sliding glass doors here, one off of the family room, one right here. And it takes you to this spacious balcony facing the backside of the property and Again, Florida, that's why I changed my outfit. Look how relaxing and nice out here. Water is right there. You have a rad and jet surfboard, your boat, your kayaks, your e-foil, you name it, your windsurfing gear, you can just put it down there. And it's, what, 30 feet away? Yeah, this is our first canal home also. So uh, it's kind of what Miami is known for. They have a lot of canal homes around here, but uh, it's really cool. I'd love to have a boat here. Exactly, I feel like if I live in a house like this, I'll just probably have like a small boat. This is how I will just like go through the neighborhoods, go visit my friends. You could have like a little floating office. You just float down the canals. That sounds nice. I'm not gonna lie. All right, Mikey, let's take everybody inside. I guess that's it for the second floor. So let's go up to the third floor, check out the bedrooms. After that, we'll show you guys the backyard. Now we're on the third floor, but before we continue our tour, if you've been enjoying our video so far, please make sure to give us a like and even subscribe to our channel because we produce amazing videos for you guys week after week. Yeah, and if y'all consistently watch our videos and you're not subscribed, you should know that it would be a huge favor to us if you would subscribe. Something like 72% of our uh, returning audience in our YouTube analytics are not subscribers. So we're doing everything we can for y'all. We were in Germany last week. We were, you know, we're in Miami this week. We Monaco, were, France. We're Monaco, France, Italy. We got another big trip coming up soon, which I won't tell you all about, but please subscribe. It really helps us out. Even hit the notification bell. That way you guys don't miss out on our videos. All right, now we have four bedrooms on this level. This is the first one. Nice hardwood floors, bunk bed set up here, another couch right here. This room can easily sleep three people. Walk-in closet around the corner, and we have a full bathroom here with a walk-in shower. Now, Mike, let's continue. And again, having this staircase all open even brings a ton of natural light to the landing of the third floor. Utility closet, and we have two bedrooms here. Let's start with this one. This is a front-facing bedroom with a king-size bed. Again, gets a ton of natural light. And Mikey, just look out of the window. Palm trees, 
the vibes, you can see the canal from here. This is what Miami is all about. Am I getting too carried away today? To look out the window and see the vibes? Yeah, uh, you're getting a little carried away. I know. Yeah. I think I just want to get on water. All right, let's continue. Let's check out the bathroom. Natural stone finishes, walk-in shower with a frosted glass, some cabinetry, LED lit mirror, and a floating vanity design. Now, let's go to the other side. Bedroom number three, I guess we start from the bathroom. Nice tiled walls, and the same tile goes all the way into a walk-in shower, another frosted glass. Mikey, we don't see this detail quite often. These are shower units where you have a body spray, handheld, and rain head within one assembly. So you don't have to run your plumbing lines to the ceiling or to your handheld. You just run one hot, one cold line, and the diverter and the assembly behind that fixture does all the work for you. Yeah, it looks really cool and modern. Absolutely. And by the door, we have a beautiful vanity design with marble countertops. Now, let's go into the room. Again, very spacious. Same hardwood floors are also here. King size bed. I think Picasso did a very good job with the furnishings and details throughout the property. And we have the walk-in closet there. Another good size room. Now, Michael, let's take everybody back to the landing. Again, we talked about the glass assembly on the second floor, allowing natural light to come to the landing here as well. Beautiful oak panelings on the walls. And we have an interior pivot door here, taking us to the primary bedroom suite. Now, I like this bedroom setup here because you have walls of glass facing the canal. You're looking at an awesome view here. And I like this detail. The fact that they placed the desk right against the glass wall. That way, even when you're working, you can enjoy these views. Yeah, and you're looking out over this canal. It's really nice. It'd be a, a great place to work. You briefly touched on this in the previous bedroom, but talk about how Picasso works. So Picasso has a really interesting business model. They come in, they acquire a property, and then they bring the interior designer to furnish the entire place, bring a management in place, so that way house is basically ready to be utilized. Then they break it into shares. That way buyers can acquire one eighth or one fourth ownership of a property. And a lot of people confuse this model with timeshare, but it's not. You actually buy one eighth of the home. So you own that stock, you own that ownership. And if the property value goes up down the road, you benefit from that, not Picasso. They just manage it for you. Yeah, and it kind of makes sense for the vacation home model because- Especially. Obviously, if you want a vacation home, you're not gonna be in it year round. You're gonna be there maybe two or three months out of the year max. Mikey, how many homes we tour where the owners are barely there a couple of weeks out of the year? Yeah, and these are like these are like residential homes in the Hollywood Hills, and they're, they're maybe lived in for two months out of the year. At best. Yeah. So this model makes perfect sense. And instead of paying six, seven, eight million dollars for a property like this, you can buy it for one million seventeen thousand dollars. Yeah, it's really cool. Now, before we come back to the bedroom again, walk-in closet here, super spacious, open shelving, shoe racks, hangers, island right in the center, and even from your walk-in closet, you can enjoy the views. Now, coming back to the bedroom, again, it's good size, king size bed here. TV around the corner, and you have a balcony dedicated to your primary bedroom. Again, facing the canal views. This is awesome. Yeah, it's really Florida nice. is really nice. All right, Mike, you ready for this? Also, automatic shades throughout. Had to mention that. Now, come into the bathroom. It's again clad with stone throughout, even the ceilings. We have a freestanding tub positioned right in the center here, and this is a nice amenity. Sauna. It would be fantastic to have a sauna in your bathroom. Absolutely. Yeah. I want one. Yeah. Uh, we have more cabinetry here, two sinks, nice linear window above the vanity design, bringing natural light, but yet keeping the privacy for the bathroom. And Mikey, we got to step inside. Good size walk in shower, chrome fixtures, handheld, body spray, rain head, everything you need. Now that wraps our tour for the third floor. Now I want to take everybody back to the first floor so we can check out the backyard. Now let's cover the first floor of this property and this part might be my favorite because it leads us to the canal that we're going to see in a bit. Now this door opens up to a full bathroom with a walk-in shower that also connects to the gym that we talked about earlier. And coming back to this side, we got a nice seating area, just like the second floor. 
This section is all glassed out facing your first pool because we have two pools on this property. And right here, we have a nice cozy seating area. Your pool is right there. I mean, I feel like I would utilize this space all the time if I stayed in this house, sit down, watch the TV, leave the sliding glass doors open. And on top of that, has a wet bar. I mean, what else you need? You have your sink, ice maker, fridge, open shelving, great spot to entertain, serve some drinks. Now, let's take everybody outside. Again, sliding glass doors, let's stack them. At the end, there you go. Now, this space flows to your covered patio section, Epe wood on the ceiling, outdoor dining area, outdoor seating area. I guess before we go to the canal, Mikey, let's go this way. I know you're gonna like this detail. So we have a lap pool here. I know you're a big lap guy. So big lap guy. Big lap guy, that's weird, but you know what I meant. Yeah. Uh, mosaic towel around the coping. This is a good sized pool considering the size of the plot. Yeah, you rarely see homes with dedicated lap pools, but I always like when they do that. Agreed. Moving on, we got another pool to see. But before we go there, I actually want to cover the outdoor barbecue area. The same Olight stone that we saw at the exterior facade, front facade, they have it also here. Your outdoor grill, cooktop, sink. This is awesome. I mean, they truly made the best out of this backyard space. We got another plunge pool here with a glass front. So you get a nice view to look at towards your canal. Lounge chairs on the other side. That's your second floor balcony. And Mikey, let's take everybody down. I like that these two palm trees kind of frame the staircase here. And this is your canal access, your pier. And you can just tie your boat here, jet skis, jet boards, fish out here. I don't know. Yeah. This is pretty awesome. Yeah, we were actually just out here earlier and we saw a manatee swimming right. down the canal. So uh, you don't really see that in LA. Cool to have. No, you don't. So that's awesome and beautiful property. Again, another one of Picasso's amazing listings. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel. And I wanna give big thanks to Picasso for, again, allowing us to tour another one of their amazing listings. And as always, you can find more information about them and this property down in the description of this video. Again, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week.